will reduce by 50% the annual vehicle license fee and we will re eliminate the radio fee. This will be an attempt to ease the squeeze. You know, sometimes you go for license your car and you barely have the money. Well, we'll move the vehicle annual license fee. Reduce by 50% and eliminate the radio fee. We will remove the ABST on all SIM card devices. All SIM, SIM cards. Now, when I spoke of the vehicle licensing thing, I also want to tell you that we will immediately remove all taxes on prescription reading glasses and spectacles. We're giving help where help is needed. We're going to remove all taxes on funeral expenses. There will be a 50% reduction on water rates for all CMC certified farmers along with reduced electricity and internet costs. We're going to expand the current baskets of goods under price control. There needs to be something done with those prices. And we're going to make sure that we really get a handle on that. We're going to reduce all energy prices within two weeks. That's a straight promise. Gasoline, gasoline. We're going to reduce gasoline week after next. Gasoline is going to be reduced to $10 a gallon. And diesel will be reduced to $9.90 a gallon. There will be a 25% reduction in the APUA fuel variation charge. That will reduce the cost of your electricity. And we will permanently peg energy prices in Antigua, whether it be at the pump or the fuel variation charge, we're going to peg those to the international price of oil. So when the price go down, like how the price went down over the last four years, the people of Antigua are supposed to benefit. The price is supposed to go down. Immediately upon getting into office, we will conclude negotiations for public service salary increases within 90 days that must be settled. And the back pay that has been in and out, in and out, we give it a commitment. Give us till December. I can't tell you by May or June. Give us till December and we're going to clear the back pay. We will aggressively pursue a cheaper, faster, and more reliable internet service for both consumers and businesses. The Labour Party has failed the nation. Antigua have the slowest internet. We're going to fix that. I give you my word. We are going to fix that. And we, for the pensioners, we're going to implement an inflation-indexed social security pensions plan. So what that means with your pension, if the cost of living go up by 5%, your pension go up by 5%. If you go up by 2%, it go up by 2%. If prices no go up, nothing happens. We will implement a rent-to-own option on public housing. 
And this means that a lot of young people, you've heard the deputy political leader speak about this. A lot of young people really want to know that when they pay their rent, not only young, others as well, you pay your rent, but eventually under our program, you will own the house eventually. You will own the apartment, so you pay, but you will not pay in vain. You pay so that you will eventually own. This is how we're going to help people. This is the party that cares. This is the party with a social conscience. We are going to gradually reduce corporate taxes down to as low as 12.5% within our first term. So again, we are being realistic. That's not going to happen within the first month. It's not going to happen within the first six months. Within our first term, we're going to bring it down gradually because we know what we are doing. We're going to establish duty-free zones in other places. For example, it is our intention to make English Harbor a duty-free zone. It is our intention to make Jolly Harbor a duty-free zone. And it is our intention to make Red Lift Key a duty-free zone. And also, Barbuda will be a duty-free zone. And of course, we are going to repeal the Barbuda Land Act and the Paradise Found Act. Antigua and Barbuda, your lives and your livelihoods, and this country's future are in your hands. On the left, there is hopelessness. On the right, there is hope. Happiness, opportunity, prosperity, and empowerment. The choice is clear. Your vote will deliver hope. Vote the United Progressive Party.